Welcome into this week's edition of the Climate Friday newsletter. As we gear you up for the weekend alert day winter storm system, we're going to be talking the temperature swings that will follow. We've been forecasting this all week long. It is going to be an abrupt taste of winter after a record setting December. It is going to be a temperature swing for the books. We're going to break down the data here, what we experienced in December, and also what you can anticipate as we head beyond this weekend. First and foremost, I want to get into the numbers recapping December 2023 which was the warmest on record in the Toledo area. December featured a temperature that was nearly 9 degrees above average with an average temperature over the course of the month close to 42 degrees. That was the warmest in around 150 years of weather data. Now, where do we stand as far as January is concerned? At least so far as of this recording, January is actually warmer than average with an average temperature about 4.6 degrees above what you'd expect it. That's going to change very quickly as we do a total 180 in the weather department. Bitterly cold temperatures arrive next week and the mercury may briefly plunge below the zero degree mark. Now, recapping December, it was such an exceptionally mild month. We did not have a single day where the high temperature in the afternoon dropped below the freezing mark. Normally in December, you'd have nine to 10 of those days. However, that remained elusive during the month of December. So we're going to be talking temperature swings in this week's Climate Friday. What have we experienced in the past as far as temperature swings? And what can you expect as we look ahead towards next week? December, the warmest day was 65 degrees, a balmy 65. On December 9th, that was a record-setting day. Next week, thermometers may briefly plunge below the zero degree mark and we may log our first negative temperature of the winter season with several days featuring wind chills in that ballpark. Now that's not the only temperature swing that has been experienced in Toledo. If you look back towards last January, January of 2023, we had similar temperature swings. Believe it or not, you may remember this one on the 4th of January, shortly after New Year's, we had a 61 degree day and by the end of the month, month. The irony by the end of the month turning bitterly cold. Six degrees was our coldest day during the duration of January. Quite the temperature swing, even though that did occur over a much longer, broader period of time. Now, even though we're going to turn much colder in the 10 day forecast, overwhelmingly, the last four months have brought above average temperatures. January is four to five degrees above normal so far. December, record setting warmth, eight to nine degrees above normal. November was essentially par for the course, about what you'd expect in the temperature department. And October was also a mild month, even though you may remember October as that month that brought the Halloween snowfall as a whole, it was above average. So even though we are going to turn the thermometer much colder, it is overall a warm trend that has been experienced. Now looking back at another temperature swing, this is probably the most extreme in recent memory because this temperature swing occurred over a short period of time in just 24 hours before the pre Christmas winter storm. We'll call it December 22nd of 2022. You may remember this one family and friends coming into town for the holidays. We surged to 45 degrees just a day later on December 23rd, our low temperature and this is the air temperature, not even factoring in the wind brought Brought us down to three below with blowing snow and bitterly cold conditions. That was quite the temperature extreme. When you factor in the wind chill or the feels like value, our apparent temperature or what it feels like to you dropped 70 degrees. That's what's known as a flash freeze when the mercury plunges in a very short period of time, and that makes it very difficult for those roads to get cleared off when the temperature drops so low. In just 12 hours before Christmas, we dropped with wind chills as low as 30 below zero. Now our temperature swing this time around might not be quite as dramatic, but it is still going to bring us some temperatures well below 10 degrees. And the last time we experienced real cold during the month of January, well, actually it wasn't last year. The last time we had prolonged cold was January of 2022. I want to recap some of the numbers there and tell you that, you know, sometimes we do get a week or even 10 days where it is exceptionally cold. We had nine days in a row that January where the temperature dipped below 10 and we featured single digit overnight temperatures. Look at this all single digits from the 21st to the 25th. And then we got even colder for the very end of January. The tail end of this stretch 
five degrees below zero in January of 2022. Now January 30th finally rebounded to 14 is the overnight low. Still cold to be sure, but nine days in a row featured temperatures that dropped down below 10 degrees. So those are some temperature swings and extremes that have happened locally here at home in Northwest Ohio and Southeastern Michigan. What about across the country? Well, when you think of rapid temperature changes, one of the areas that is the biggest culprit or is known for those temperature swings and extremes is actually the Northwestern and North Central United States. The Northern Plains in particular, the state of Montana has featured historic temperature swings and part of that simply has to do with the juxtaposition or the collision of warm and cold air. Oftentimes a strong Canadian cold front sends the temperature plunging. Browning Montana in particular is in the history books as the greatest 24 hour temperature change in US history. The mercury went from 44 above zero, mind you, to 56 below zero. That was over the course of 24 hours in January, the 23rd to the 24th of 1916. So over a century old, but still that record stands as the biggest 24 hour temperature change. Now Montana has also experienced shorter temperature swings that are equally as impressive. Fairfield, Montana is known for the largest temperature swing over a 12 hour duration, and this was right before Christmas on the 24th of 1924. Imagine this. That temperature swing happened in one day, 63 to 21 below zero as a strong dose of that Canadian air moved through. And oftentimes the geography and topography of the area can also contribute to temperature swings where you get different temperatures in the valleys and the hills, whereas here it's awfully flat, so that's less of a factor. Now the long range forecast, even beyond the extent of the 10 day, features frigid conditions. That dark blue color across the lower Great Lakes, the Midwest, and just about all of the lower 48 shows you temperatures that are expected to be below average and the darker the blue that is where we are the most confident the temperatures are going to be frigid in other words much of the region not just toledo not just michigan and ohio but much of the united states is going to be sharply colder than average here's a sneak peek of not the temperatures but the wind chills we haven't talked about the impact the winds may have on those temperatures looking ahead towards saturday as our alert day storm system moves on through it may feel like the teens with air temperatures in the 20s by sunday we could briefly dip down below zero and even though it's bad here look off on the side of your screen the worst of the cold happens in the northern plains areas like fargo to minneapolis down towards Des Moines. Those are areas that are notorious for getting that sharp change in the temperature. Here's a look ahead towards early next week. Wind chills could even dip down briefly to double digits below zero. You're looking at minus 10 for the wind chill. Of course, not as bad as Milwaukee, Chicago, Green Bay, and Davenport, where the worst of the impacts will be felt, but that cold air is going to spill into the lower Great Lakes, including the Buckeye State, and it is going to leave us with some negative wind chills into next week. One thing's for sure, the weather pattern is looking and feeling more like winter. Even though this weekend's winter storm may not dose out a ton of snowfall, it is that change in the weather pattern that we want to keep you alert about, and that change is going to continue through the middle, to even latter half of January as we experience some of the coldest air that we have felt in quite some time. We'll update you each and every Friday. If you're not already subscribed, WTOL.com slash email, and we'll update on all platforms through those alert days and beyond. Looking forward to the bitter cold.